The horn plays very well. Um, it plays well in tune and, 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 and very nimbly. Um, you know, the craftsmanship is, is, uh, is superb. Adjustable hand flipper and, uh, and, uh, and little finger ring, which is uh, also, a, also a help. The intonation on this is like that I that I like compared to like other horns is that everything was once I got it kind of lined up and where I, where I felt comfortable that the intonation throughout was very even. It didn't um, it didn't have notes that were like a little funky or anything like that. Everything was just laid in a really nice place. On an 8D where I feel like I'm working, 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 I feel that this horn, I don't have to work quite as hard. So on like articulate stuff. Vowels are really smooth too, which I'm used to pressing the valve down quite a bit. So my vowels are actually going quicker than what I'm used to. You could take that screw out, switch it here, and it would have its, instead of standing in F, it would stand in B flat. like the slurs and stuff, mm -hmm. a lot easier on this thing. I would say, I mean, it's definitely on par with any of your professional model horns. Going from F to B flat on a lot of the sides was really easy. With this one, I was able to find a, a really nice mix between the F and the B flat throughout. Um, the G sharp second valve is there. Thumb mm -hmm. two and three is there. Thumb one and two for the A is there. It seemed like a little high though, but the okay. thumb open is really there, so that's okay. I, I prefer the thumb open for the high A, and it. it the, the partial there was really, really nice. And then the high B flats there. It's very, uh, I guess when you say similar or um, even, so you know what you're gonna get. It's not like there's stupid notes there. Mm -hmm. You get above the F, you get the F sharp and the G, and then the G sharp and the A and the, a and the B flat and the B and the C, they all feel very similar. So that's a good thing. <laughs> I am, I'd love to play it in an ensemble, but I think it would work well in small groups because just the darkness of it and the, I, I keep saying darkness, that's not the right word because it, it doesn't, it's not always dark. It, you can you can sound bright and get, and get mm -hmm. resistance to it and get some ping to it. Um, but I, I think a, in a smaller smaller group it would work wonders because it can get, it plays out, it can get very loud, it can play soft and, and as I was experiencing earlier, um, you can really connect the notes and be very musical and very lyrical with it and have a lot of freedom with it because it's a little bit more open, you got room to work with. To me, I, I still feel like I can get that, that a brighter sound and a brighter quality mm -hmm. to, the, to the tone if I need to, mm -hmm. to match a section that's probably playing you know, some smaller, smaller bore instruments. Mm -hmm. and, and also it's got the robust and the, the darkness to it, that, a color that I could match someone who's, you know,
I like it, man. It's pretty smooth. You don't really have to fight it for anything. Doesn't seem like it has any little dead spots in the range. You know, I did try both bells. Yeah. yeah. Um, the one that was in the case, is that the one you ended up with? Uh, you know, I kind of dug this one. This, okay. This one here, this is the, the Bell Flex. Bell Flex. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. It felt, it felt like it had a bit more resonance. This one has a slightly duller sound. This one's darker. It's an orchestral horn solo, solo yeah. instrument. Yeah. All Good for it. quintets? Yeah, I think, I mean, okay. you, you can play quiet on it without killing cool. yourself and cool. responsive, yeah. So you like the warmer sound of the copper bin. But if you're gonna really want to project or something, I mean, that's gonna help you kind of sizzle it a little quicker. So it'd be kind of fun to have both choices? Yeah. What about playability between the two? I mean, is there is there really a difference that's more sound or is there any type of characteristic that changes? No, the characteristics of the horn didn't change, just uh, unless you really want to be able to get us more of a sizzle quicker. Right, the other, the other one's bell. gonna do it. This one keeps it a little warmer. You can get louder and keep that warmth. So, cool. Yeah, nice and even, open. Yeah. Uh, free blowing. Yeah, nice and light.